picking it out. Well, was anybody, you know, was Tony Schiavone or anybody like that, that they kind of take you under their wing, so to speak, and say, okay, this is kind of how we, you know, take an extra, kind of go the extra mile to make sure. Oh, you Tony. Were, Tony yeah. did. Absolutely. Tony was the boss. Yeah. Um, Tony was, um, I don't know what his title was, director of broadcasting, executive vice president, whatever it was. But he was in charge of the announcers. He was our boss. I mean, you name it, from um, Gene, Bobby, Mike, Legend, me, not Dusty, because Dusty was was a different kind of talent, but Lee Marshall, um, uh, Dave Penzer, Mark Madden. He, you know, Tony was the boss. Didn't act like it, but he 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 was the voice of reason, the voice of experience, giving us the advice and hey, don't do this. Let the picture tell the story. I'll tell you another thing. Tony taught me way early was he said. A good announcer will not bring in one additional viewer, but a bad one will chase away thousands. And I never let that escape me. Whatever I was doing, I always remembered. I'm not bringing, no, nobody's paying to see me. Nobody's dialing up this channel to watch me. But if I'm not careful, I could chase them all back to Raw or chase them all back to whatever the hell's on the other channel. So I, you know, I, I always kept that in the four. That's good. That's good advice. Very good. Yeah, he he kind of plays the humble card. Tony does, uh, but man, he has been around. Yeah, and and you know he he deserves everything he's got right now. I'm glad he's back yes. in wrestling again. God, Tony's uh, probably been at this forty years. Yeah, because the Crockett's pulled him from their baseball mm-hmm. broadcast to make him um, a wrestling announcer. He was a, he was a baseball guy. Yeah. And the Crockett's own, I don't know if it was triple A or double A team in Charlotte back in the early eighties. And Tony was their was their broadcaster. And they moved him over to be a wrestling announcer. Long time. You never you never know well where you get started. Yeah. You know, you're been in records and doing high school football, you're calling minor league baseball in Charlotte. You know, you're like Mike who was you know, running the sports book at a, at a casino in Vegas. You never know when that call is going to come and when you're going to get your shot.